All right, so welcome back everyone. This is the day 16 of 30 days sock challenge. I hope you're enjoying it. If you haven't joined yet, you can find the link in the description below. And one more announcement I want to make, uh, you know, we have a new boot camp, our new batch is starting for ultimate sock analysis. Uh, this is going to start on 17th of May. This is the three months boot camp program. Uh, complete hands-on, complete practical assignment, hackathon, quite a lot of fun, okay? Uh, there will be community, there will be interaction, Q&A session, and many more. You can find, you can learn more about this bootcamp program. I mentioned the uh, link in the description below. So please do check it out, okay? Now, um, so this, this is the day 16 where we are going to learn to install Splunk. Very simple lab but very very important okay so let's do this make sure you have a ubuntu machine get a ubuntu machine uh, again as i said earlier you can have a ubuntu server 22.04 that's what i recommend you can install on your virtual box or maybe vmware or maybe in the cloud okay once you have that run apt update immediately okay this might take some time. Perfect, it's done. All right, so let's first install this Splunk. Um, I can copy this file, wget command. Um, I have to format this, so I'll do that later. Do the right click. This will install the Splunk file on this Linux machine using wget okay let's wait for a few seconds perfect do the ls and you can find the file here okay let's extract the file dpkg minus i this will extract the file hit enter perfect so it's done now splunk has been installed on the machine let's start this Splunk so we'll have to go to the opt Splunk and bin directory this is where you will find Splunk file and um, what we need is this Splunk executable uh, which is here perfect so you can run by dot I mean Splunk Type yes, why, and then enter the admin username. So I'll say admin. Let's enter the admin password. So let's enter a strong password, maybe. Let's confirm the password. Perfect. It's done. You can see this Splunk has been started. It's wonderful. Now the problem here is the only problem is it's currently be accessible locally from the machine. You see this 127.001. So even if I want, I won't be accessed from my browser to this to this machine unless you are running on your local. You went like like you have a Linux, uh, you know, desktop experience. In that situation, you may be access it. But if you have a Ubuntu server. It would be difficult and you won't be you can't allow the users to access your splunk globally so that's a challenge in order to fix this we have to bind the ip address so to do that um you know first of all we need to make sure we stop this plunk okay so let's first stop this plunk all right so now let's bind the ip address uh, to 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 so that this Splunk server can be accessible from anywhere, okay? So let's move to OPT Splunk and then ETC. Perfect. Under this, we have to find a file. Sorry. Under this, we have to find Splunk launch file. This is the one, right? So let's launch Splunk launch.conf okay and then we'll have to change the splunk bind ip address so let's search for splunk bind 
I think it's usually not there. So we'll have to add a line instead. Okay. So let type Splunk bind IP. Okay. Equal to 0 dot 0 dot 0. Perfect. It's done. Let's close it. Perfect. Now let's first note down the IP address of, of the server so that we remember to access it. Perfect. This is the server IP address. Now let's go back to the same directory from where we can execute this Splunk. Okay. So and that's slash opt slash Splunk slash bin. Hit enter and then we can run uh, run the executable which is Splunk start. Remember this is an executable. That means this already exists. I have shown you I believe right. So you can find Splunk this one right. So we are just going to execute this with start command. Now when you launch this, this will run on IP address 0.0.0.0, which is this, right? And then we can specify the port number, which is 8000. Should work, but I guess this is on HTTPS. So let's try. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I think we, we haven't unblock the port so we'll have to un create a rule to allow this by because by default only post port 22 is allowed on a default server so we'll have to allow uh, 8000 tcp perfect now it should work um perfect can you see this it should work let's try with Password I created. Awesome, isn't it? So let me know how, what's your experience and uh, if you have any issues. Thank you.